All right, this one is on Mike Boudet and also on losing a lot of my friends. A lot of my friends, I lost them because they didn't understand texting. They didn't understand that they're not communicating right and I'm not communicating right because we're doing it in texting. You guys got too used to getting onto Facebook and just insulting people for no reason and looking for excuses to argue. So I do the same thing. I really do. <laughs> Fuck, I hate allergies. My head it feels like it's going to explode. This uh, one here, this is kind of how I want to set the tone for you guys. Um, my friend Phoenix, he asked me where I was at. I said, Nebraska. He said, sorry to hear, or a little bit better out there. I typed, it sucks, but the cops in public here are a wee bit nicer. Just barely. This is June 20th of last year. I was being threatened, obviously, still. <coughs> being harassed. This is just before uh, I attempted to commit suicide at Chapel Lake over the police not giving a shit, not being willing to do their jobs. But Brian got a hold of me and he typed, it's getting worse here. More violence with the homeless and not being able to afford even a room. I typed, yes, sir, I've been watching. Um, Judge Fatzinger, or Magistrate Fatzinger. Before I had heard the Sword and Scale episode, um, before I had even known that there was a Sword and Scale, um, that Josh Feller, who works for Mike Boudet, I got screenshots of his, between me and him, with him saying that his boss destroyed the evidence that he was supposed to take to the police. That was literally the deal between us. And Josh is typing on there about how his boss destroyed evidence to me on my Facebook Messenger. And people are trying to destroy my Facebook because they don't want anybody to see the evidence I got. They just want people to hate me. And the Bollingers and police are very heavily invested in this. Now I want to read for you some stuff that was sent to me by... Somebody who's been trying to pay attention and trying to look stuff up. Um, we'll see if I can get this to work because it's kind of been a while. We'll see if this phone's hooked up to it. Um, sign in. I guess I'll pause for a minute while I do this. Anyway, getting back to the story of Judge Fatzinger. Um, this is the judge in Natalie's case. The protection order. The one that was served to me on the 16th, and then he later was the judge in it on the, uh... 22nd. Well, I was at Ken and Leah's on the 22nd, and I didn't have the money to go anywhere. I finally got my disability on the 23rd, the day after court. But I didn't even know I had a court date. Um, I hadn't looked at the paperwork. I'd been waiting on uh, Jeff Ritter to help me get a lawyer like he said he was gonna, and he just never did. Um... I mean, with him, we'd been trying to do that for months. So, I wasn't able to go to that protection order. And I also, I didn't understand how they worked. I mean, I thought, at that point in time, I thought, once you're served it, that's, that's it. And I was pissed off because I hadn't been able to go to court about it. I hadn't been able to talk to an officer about it. Um, apparently Officer Burke was the one who was supposed to have called me about it. He just never did. 
Um, so some of the stuff on here, it's uh, Kara Johnson on here. Um, well, she is slandering the shit out of me, and it's at the same time and, and dates as the times that she was pretending like she was an autism advocate who was going to help me out. She was a friend of Miss Shelley's. There's also here from Denise Kelly. That's one of uh, um, Miss Natalie's grandmothers. And she and Kara Johnson and... Uh, that's also Kara Miles and Kara Johnson. They're the same person. Here's Denise Kelly and Kara Johnson arguing about stuff. Um, I mean, it's really a whole bunch of crap that... Holy fuck, these people are messed up. Denise M. Kelly is saying to Kara M. Johnson... All right, Kara Johnson saying, why are you defending him in the first place? And Denise Kelly types to Kara Johnson, because Ted and his mother and Shelly are liars. Fake, and they're the reason Natalie isn't here anymore, threatening to throw her and her boyfriend in prison. So if you think I, I'm talking out my ass, go ahead. All of it will be out soon, the truth, that is. So... Putting that into perspective, right there, Denise, Denise M. Kelly, did Shelly, Ted, and his mom, did they pressure Natalie to kill herself because I exposed Ted? Anyway, Judge Fatzinger, um, was the judge who allowed that address to be on that paperwork, and the address that was on that paperwork, um, people were using that circumstantial evidence, or whatever you want to call it, I, I don't even know where that address is in relation to, to federal which is what I walked up when I was going to see Miss Peaches. And with all of the stuff that was on that protection order that I should have been able to defend myself against after trying for an entire year to get a police officer to take a report to document the things that were happening, the things that Tim Beeson was doing. And what I want to know is, did... uh. Detectives Jai Rogers and Mark Peterson document that stuff. I know for a fact that I showed Detective Jai Rogers. He said that he couldn't do anything about it. Because uh, he's a murder investigator. I needed to uh, give that report to a plain clothes. And I tried every plain clothes in there after that. Tried to get each and every one of them to take a report from me. They all refused. Um, this isn't the first time this happened. This isn't the last time. They refused to take a statement from Miss Peaches. They refused to take one from a lot of people. That's why I spoke out about it on the internet. As always, the police being who they are. I mean, I've got screenshot on screenshot about people's fucking fears. And yeah, most of them were pissed off at me and not my friends and got me blocked. And that's all right. We're going to change some fucking laws here. I mean, literally, I have been maybe three miles from my dad's house, Max. I could literally have gone to hurt my dad a hundred times since I got here. I'm just not interested in hurting people. The problem is that uh, when people were threatening to hurt me, nobody cared. Nobody cared enough to make a report, an adult protective services call, or 
or fucking something. I mean, you guys saw these threats happening in these groups. Now, Mike Boudet, that guy and his friend, they no longer have access to the page that they did have um, or the website that they did have. Um, they had to start their own sword and scale. Um, Christine de Bordeaux, Justice for Natalie Bollinger, Open Discussion Group. <sighs> this woman changed her mind about me and... was the, oh my God, this woman was pretty well hitting the nail on the head. The problem is that since then I've been, I've been fucked up pretty good. I've been harassed quite a bit. I've been assaulted a lot. I've been denied the right to make a police report. A lot of people have. This will drive a person fucking crazy. Um... The problem with Mike Boudet and all the stuff that he's doing, um, I mean, nobody should ever have to go through that. Nobody should ever have to go through a fake jury, you know? Um, this one's with Gail Loudon, I guess. I'm having problems finding the one where they're talking about sword and scale. Um... The thing is, I, I was never interested in hurting people, and nobody cared about that. The people who did care about that, like, they weren't working as hard to help me as these people were working to try to destroy my name. And when they destroyed my name, that made it okay to do whatever they wanted. But then there was the homelessness part. I wasn't homeless until Natalie died. When Natalie died, Ken and Leah used that as an excuse to take all of my money. To steal my belongings that were worth the most. Um, I, I've lost everything since then. I've lost so much evidence, but I've got so much of it left, too. And a lot of these people that I've been in contact with, their phone records will show that I've called them multiple times from many different phones. I mean... I shut down. I, I literally need somebody to teach me how to do these things. The things that I know how to do. Getting onto Craigslist. I know how to do that. I can get on the f fucking Craigslist. I can't necessarily navigate it the best, but she at least showed me how to do that. That was Miss Natalie. While I was in Virginia, she taught me how to do that, to fill out job applications for PetSmart. She was also trying to get me a job with her mom, Rose M. Kelly, at a place called Vico Construction. Um, with the stuff that Mike Boudet pulled, it sent a lot of people after me. I should have been left alone instead of got people assaulting me and threatening me and calling me all sorts of stuff that is completely uncalled for. And the police, you know, this is the media that they're listening to as well. These very same police officers who I'd been trying to get to take a look at this stuff, I didn't know how to show them. <coughs> I, I still don't. That, that's a big part of the issue. When I say I need somebody in person, I need somebody to sit down with me and show me. Just like Amanda Ingeline showed me how to do the YouTube thing. 
a lot of the people on Mike Boudet's page or whatever, they're pretty pissed off. I mean, you can only hear his rants about me if you uh, pay for it. And apparently a lot of people are pissed off. It's basically just them making fun of me and laughing. Like the police did. Like the staff at Clearview did. And that's the thing that's fucked up too. Is that's actually on video. It's actually on the portion of the video that they made at Clearview. Them laughing at me for trying to get the police. I didn't belong there. I didn't. If they're not going to allow me access to a police officer and that evidence to show a police officer, I don't belong there. I tried to kill myself because of all the fucking bullying. And Mike Boudet added to it. And them rotten ass cops in Boulder. Yeah, Officer Waylon Lolatai has assaulted six people since he assaulted me, including some people who were... On national news, like Zade Atkinson, Michelle Rodriguez, and Sammy Leon Lawrence IV. I've been reporting on this for years. All the way back to the beginning of my Facebook, you can see a lot of that stuff where I told on officers and what they were doing and who they were doing it to. And so many of those people are dead now. Like, so many of those witnesses have died in the last fucking year that, like, man, you know, I told those stories, because it's important for people to know, but then people get all scared. They're scared of losing their housing. They're scared of public opinion. They're scared of what their friends will think if they side with Sean, especially after how court went down. And Sean didn't get to defend himself in any of those court dates or show evidence in any of those court dates or have a public pretender who would even try. All of my public pretenders lied to me, every one of them. And I got proof of that. And I got Steve recorded. He went down there to one of them court, two of those court dates, sorry. And he said that when I tried to show them that evidence, I, I said, how many times did I try to show that to them? He's like, well, more than twice. Yeah, it was more than twice. That was just while I was with him. And they got away with it because they swayed public opinion by using the news. By making sure that they were allowed to speak and I wasn't. Making sure they were allowed to make reports and I wasn't. At Clearview, they wouldn't let me because I was drugged. So they got to write a report about the incident and I didn't. Meanwhile, I was defending myself against them drugging me. And assaulting me. And threatening to break needles off in me. You got no fucking clue how goddamn scary that is. And on their very own paperwork it says that I was calm. But they also didn't write down that they injected me with those drugs and threatened to break the needles off in me. What they did to me was fucking ungodly wrong. And they had just done it to a Vista. The police... They take people in there. They call them mentally ill. They're fucking been through hell. All right? The shit that I went through, yes, it is comparable to fucking rape or worse. The things that these people did to me should never be done. I was raped as a child, and I can tell you this is way fucking scarier. It's way more fucked up. It's like some sort of fucked up Twilight Zone, Twilight Zone bullshit. Where the media isn't real media. It's not real news. It's a popularity contest. We want our newspaper articles to be juicier than the next guys. So all of our newspapers are tabloids. And then you lend ear to people like Mike Boudet 
who's already got his own set bias and hatred, this man is severely mentally ill. I did run off all my loved ones, all my friends, all my family, but you know what? They were all ran off before too. Did I run them off before? No, I just wasn't useful anymore. And that doesn't count for all of them, because there are some really badass people that stuck with me, and there's some really badass people who ran away. With Miss Peach, as I understand her reasoning, I really do. Mandy Hughes as well. She's justified. Alyssa Rainwater too. Now, Mandy Hughes and Alyssa Rainwater, there's a few things that they said that really really fucked my head up. Why did it fuck my head up? Because it's stuff that should have come out in court. It should have been allowed in court. But it wasn't. Instead, Pamela Carty, she allowed these people to harm me in that jail, knowing I was being tortured. Telling me, I believe you, Sean, I know. And I'm like, so why aren't you doing anything about it? I literally have written police reports from other inmates that the police won't take. Please, take them, look at them. This shit never should have happened. But it was because of people like Mike Boudet, who's got a history of slandering and destroying people's lives for entertainment, having a really Nazi mentality towards the mentally ill and the homeless. I saved lives, motherfucker. What did you do? You destroyed them. I should have been allowed an honest day in court to face my accusers, but I was denied that because public opinion was more important than the law. What the law has to say about it would have gotten me an honest day in court, would have gotten somebody looking at my evidence, and would have gotten myself a court-appointed fucking advocate. I mean, literally, I needed to be protected. Not because I'm naive. Because of the position that I'm in. These people want to be pissed off at me for the things that I did. Alright? Miss Peaches is pissed off at me for things I actually did. So those of you who have stuck with me and believe the things that I say, understand Miss Peaches is not the bad guy. I had to be an asshole to her to try to get them to come forward with some shit. Like the fact that they actually made an effort. How much effort they made. And how it didn't do any goddamn good. Mike Boudet, you're a fucking scoundrel. You really are. That magistrate, Fatzinger, who was later allowed to present two more protection orders in the cases of people who are stirring up the mud and working with these people. I mean, I, I have a timeline established for you folks. No joke. Not only that, but just like the FBI got them strings on them uh, pictures that they got on the walls with the maps when they're trying to catch people and NCIS and all of that shit, right? I got the same thing in screenshots. I have the very same thing in screenshots that connects people like Kara Johnson to uh, the officers and those officers being connected to a case that they already knew I was trying to report against them on. I mean, it's talked about in these groups. I was very vocal about it on my YouTube and on my Facebook. The police 
were as heavily invested in trying to destroy my Facebook as anyone. The Boulder Police especially. But what the Adams County detectives did is wrong. What the sheriff did yesterday is wrong and a report needs to be made, but I need help doing it. Help in person. And people say, oh, well, I don't know what I could do. Just sit with me. If, if, if I don't understand something that's written there because I'm fucking got 10,000 lines of thought going through my head, tell me I'm getting it wrong. I mean, fuck. You know, there's a lot of stuff where I go through on a lot of the posts and I'm like, you know, I feel bad because I understand what it is that they meant now. But at the time, like, yeah, the way that it's written, it could be taken like five or six different ways. And with what was literally happening to me at that point in time, yeah, there was pretty much only one way for it to be taken by me at that point in time. See, there's these programs that you pay for that are supposed to help people like me not to be victimized. But then you get places like Boulder Police Department where it's not just people like me who get that treatment from the Boulder Police. If you're connected, the same thing will happen. Like if uh, the officer that you're trying to turn in So, you know, that happened a lot. The officer I was trying to turn in was handed the paperwork. They handed it to the officer that I was trying to turn in. Repeatedly. The day before yesterday, the Arapahoe County, or the uh, Adams County Sheriff, the Sheriff himself, gave the officers I was trying to report about the evidence that I was trying to send to have an investigator investigate those two detectives. And where does Mike Boudet come in on all this? Because he's still profiting from the shit that he helped to put me through. The hate and slander and misdirection yeah, I am going fucking crazy. I don't get to see my loved ones, and that would drive anyone fucking crazy. Especially if it's over shit they didn't do. <coughs> did, I, did I light a fire? Fuck yes, I did. And I admitted it. Immediately. That fire was planned. It took me 20 minutes to force myself to light that fire. As soon as I realized my phone was dead... And I wasn't going to be able to go kill myself at McIntosh Dairy. I ran into fucking Federal on accident. And that's when I decided, you know what? I'm going to go get some fucking gas. I can find Ken and Leah's from here. I'm going to get some gas. I'm going to light their vehicle on fire. And then I'm going to drive to Chapel, Nebraska. And I'm going to light the uh, cruiser that's outside of the Dual County Courthouse on fire. And since it'll be across jurisdictional lines, the FBI will have to get involved. And they'll take a look at the shit that these cops didn't do. They should have taken reports on the abuse against a what? What's the term we're looking for? Disabled adult. I needed help to protect myself from people like Alicia Bollinger and Maddie Boa who don't care how their lives affect others. They were just trying to protect themselves from the opinions of their mother. But you know what? I got screenshots of words from all sorts of people in her family. Grandmas, grandpas, dad, stepmoms, mom. You know, most of them agree about Ted. Natalie, in the end, ended up feeling the way that I felt for an entire year before she died. 
where I had been begging somebody to shoot me in the head for an entire year over the way that I was being treated. I was tr being treated the way that her dad should have been treated and Tim Beeson should have been treated. Not an innocent man. And when I exposed those two predators, you know, I just wanted to be left alone. I wanted them to tell the truth. I wanted an honest fucking court date. Judge Fatzinger never should have had access to me ever again. I said I was coming after him in a court of law. I did that at Candace's house in January. In January of 2017. Sorry, 2018. So in January of 2018, something that I was bitching about that should have never been on that paperwork, and it says on that paperwork not to put it on there. That was on there. And Judge Fatzinger was the one who allowed it. And then Tim Beeson and Natalie went out of their way to pretend that I was stalking them and watching their house because I was going to Miss Peach's house. What the fuck is wrong with you people? But it's about entertainment, isn't it? It's about ratings. It's about calling people crazy.